In this video, we're going to create a search area traverse. This is a great way to find out what points are in the area and um, create a permanent record of it in a traverse so that if I need to update any positions, I can simply update the points, come back to the same traverse, and uh, have new updated search information. Let's take a look at how we do this. I'm going to go into the traverses manager we have shown here on the right. Just going to double click and I'm going to call this Traverse uh, Search 208. Okay. I'm going to choose Edit, Insert Existing Points, Edit, Insert Existing Points, and choose the Proximity option. So let's type in point 208. This is the point we're going to search from. And then we just need a distance. I'm going to type in 100 feet and choose OK. Traverse PC looked through the survey and said, I've got 14 points that meet that um, criteria. So I'm going to choose OK. I'm going to delete this point 12. That was the point I had in there. I'm going to go back up to the very top and press the Insert key and type in 208. That inserts the point I'm, I'm searching from. And then I'm going to highlight the rest of these points and choose Edit, Point Type, Side Shot. So now each one of these is a side shot originating from 208. I'm going to shrink that traverse down just a little bit. I'm going to move this traverse over to the right hand side here. And then I'm going to use this tool again that says Draw Just This Traverse. Let's just click on that. And we see here's point 208 in the very center. And all the points that are within 100 feet now are radiating out as side shots. So we're just going to go in and double click one of these lines or labels. Under side shots, we're going to tell it we want to draw a darker color. Uh, pick any additional options we like. I generally like to use a little bit larger point symbol and maybe a little bit larger point label because I'm actually trying to find out which, where the points are. Let's choose OK. And now you can see I've got a much better look at um, what points are surrounding 208. And I've got a traverse I can print out, have a printout. If you want to, let's go back into those same settings again. And let's turn on some annotations. Let's put on a distance and a direction here. Head back out. And now I've got a printout I can use um, and have the distance and direction to each of those points uh, right on my, my uh, drawing that I print out. Something I'll do quite often when I'm generating a search area like this is that um, I'll increase the page size just so I have a little bit bigger page to work on and can choose a different scale. And I just want to walk you through how we do that here. I'm going to go to print. I just right clicked any blank spot, choose print. And because this is a Windows 7, I'm going to go to uh, print setup first and choose whatever printer I happen to be sending this to. Um, I'm going to choose uh, Rico that has a large enough page size. And then let's go ahead and choose 11 by 17. I think it's here in this list. And the landscape. Windows 7 is going to take us to a page setup. And again, it should remember 11 by 17 and landscape. But look what this does for me. It gives me a much bigger area to work with. And now when I choose Zoom Extents, I actually can create a lot more separation. And probably before I took this out in the field, um, I would just go in and drag some of these around a little bit. Just placing them together a little bit. Help me organize my, my data here. Here's another one where I probably would choose to put this distance down here and this bearing up here close to that one. It doesn't take me very long to create what separation I need. And I've got a pretty nice looking drawing. I'm going to hit the page, zoom back to page here again, and uh, pick some scale if I want that makes a little bit better sense. 10 feet to the inch, if I think that's too big, let's go back to 15 feet to the inch. And um, could take this out in the field with me. Sometimes um, it's also a good idea, if you're just trying to fit this on the page, to go up to Tools and tell Traverse PC you want to rotate this survey on the page. And maybe you can create a little bit better spatially, um, a little bit better way to zoom in on that. You might just try a zoom extents again under something like that and see how you do, or go back to a 
and I might I might say that's good enough write the point label down here and now I've got 10 feet to the inch to take out for my search diagram let's come back to our traverse here also and get it ready to use I've got some extra deed kind of columns here that I, I really don't uh, need to have so I'm going to go into the view format let's just format it with a bearing horizontal distance and I don't think I'm going to choose coordinates just a description at the end um, this gives me for each point from 208 I get a true bearing and a geodetic distance or a ground distance and I'm likely to go ahead and print this out I'm going to hit print I'm going to send this to a PDF driver that comes with Traverse PC just so you can see what we end up with here we'll go ahead and save that so here's a printout in my in PDF format that I can send to any printer and it tells me the name of the Traverse and that we're working with true bearings and distance sort of thing and all my data I also if I want um, particularly if I have some additional information that I'm going to be uh, taking out in the field with me I also can go to tools print and I use this one, append to report view. So I just added that same information to the current report in Traverse PC. And I might want to add some additional things to this report, some random inverses or some offsets um, or some additional control point information. Uh, and it's a great way to store that in Traverse PC. But all of these, uh, whether it's a report like this, whether it's a drawing, or whether it's a Traverse, provide information that I can take back out in the field with me and uh, look for those points that I'm interested in.